We are only minutes away from the closing bell, so let's break down today's market action. First, all three majors plus the Russell 2000 in the green here. Both the Nasdaq and Russell up 2.5%, Dow's up 1%, S&P 500 right in the middle up about 1.8%. And we want to take a look at the sector action for today. It's about the mega cap. So we got communication services, tech, consumer discretionary, all of those up more than 2.5%, all of them outperforming. So is real estate, by the way. Those are uh, actually putting in returns greater than the S&P 500 staples and utilities, those defensive sectors pulling up the rear, but obviously still in the green here. Let's take a look at some of our leaders and sentiment indices. And uh, we have ARC, so ARC Innovation Components. Those are at the top. That's up 5%, so disruption in vogue here today, followed by cannabis, IPO, Chinese stocks, internet stocks, chip stocks, software. All of this is saying it is risk on today, but you take a look at what's happened over the last two days. A very different picture is emerging, and over the last four days, we're going to get to the Santa Claus rally in a second here, uh, a different picture again. But back to today, we want to look at the NASDAQ 100 here. Uh, we got Apple up 2.9%. That's after hitting a 52-week low only yesterday. And Tesla up 8%, about to snap a seven-day winning streak. Shauna. Yeah, so Jared, I guess there's a bit of good news here. I think lots of questions, though, about whether or not we could still see the Santa Claus rally, given what it could signal for the new year. What do you think? Are these gains going to hold? We'll have to see, but here's what's happened over the last four days. Santa Claus rally officially began last Friday, and you can see the S&P 500 now of about seven-tenths of a percent. Just want to show you a graphic we prepared. This is the Santa Claus rally gains going back to 1950, so a lot more green than red. Usually pans out uh, for the cause in green. And just taking, thinking a, a little bit about what could happen in January. When you take the four-year presidential cycle, we have, this is the third year of it. This is the best uh, month for the S&P. S&P 500 and the Nasdaq and the second best month of the year for the Dow. So going to be important to monitor that. By the way, the Dow up 3.9% in January on average on this third in this presidential cycle year, 4.1% uh, for the S&P 500 and for the Nasdaq it is 6.8%. So I'm going to go back to our heat maps here. Uh, want to take a look at the travel sector before we head into the bell here because we got a few seconds and let's just take a look and see where we are. Looks like for the most part a lot of green. Carnival Cruise Lines is a standout here. That's up about 5%. And then Southwest, beleaguered Southwest Airlines, that's up 3%.